photogrammetry has got so much potential in the VFX industry. I um, mean, it's obviously not constrained by the limitations of real-time interactive low poly or or games or VR. Um, the nature of photogrammetry and VFX is always a background object. It's always auxiliary to the hero. It's all, almost never the hero itself. Um, it's never close to the camera. It's often slightly out of focal depth. It has a lot more reality than a modeled object often. Um, and also it can be done in your backyard. It's, it's very easy to access, very easy to do. Um, and it's very quick with programs like Meshroom uh, from Alice Vision. Um, so photogrammetry, uh, I think, is an amazing tool for, for concept artists. And I look at the massive names in the VFX industry right now. I think if you're interested in VFX and 3D, um, you probably know the name Ian Hubert. Ian Hubert has um, scanned a, a lot of his friends in his backyard and then used proportional editing to animate them. Um, and those uh, the, those images or actually 3D people is bring a lot of life to his scene. And you look at the quality of those people, they're really not great up front, but at the the distance from the camera that he's using them, um, it's it's very much photorealistic. So it often is a surprise that that not more people has has actually taken up photogrammetry. I look at um, uh, games like Spec Up the Line, where a lot of my inspiration for the environments that I do come from, it's that gritty, grainy environments that I that I really love. And as a as a concept artist, thinking of working on something like that, not obviously in the game because you wouldn't be able to run the the polygons, uh, but as a concept artist, I think photogrammetry has got massive potential for for in the freelance industry and probably see a lot of it on ArtStation similar sites. The two uh, main, uh, I often try and push photogrammetry quite hard and then the, the lashback that I, that I normally get is it's, it's not detailed enough, uh, number one and number two, um, the file size is too big or the polygons are, are too dense and th these, are, these are only issues um, if you are intending to, or if you're looking at it from a game point of view, or you look at it from a VR point of view, but that's not the context here. Um, I think if you put it in the right context, which is often concept art, then then those limitations seem to kind of dis disappear into the background. Meshroom from Alice Vision does make an, um, well, Meshroom is an amazing photogrammetry app. Um, I'll link it in the description below. Um, and go and check that out. Play around with it a little bit um, and then try and look at photogrammetry in the context that you would use it and not maybe not through a game context or a VR context but from a concepting point of view um, and see what you can do with it.